I'm Shelby. Hello, my name is Shanae. My name is Tarina. Hi, I'm Alexandria Leiva. Hi, I'm Courtney. Hi, I'm Renee. And I'm Anna. Hola, my name is Chris Lalo. Hi, I'm Tim. Hey, I'm Ross. I'm IT Break Leader for this social trip. How are you? Right, well, Patrol, what we do is uh, Courtney and I usually been doing the midnight to five shift. So, what we do, we get up, put our headlamps on put on our dark clothes and you go with the group leader um, and then you just walk up and down the beach for five hours, get a few breaks and just patrol for leatherbacks, bowlers in Spanish and negros. What's been your favourite part? Of the project? Yep. Um, probably just, just last night I reckon we actually had a leatherback wash up on shore when I was on patrol. The other night we had a, a leather back or a bell, as they call it here, um, and she came up and laid her eggs. Well, mine was definitely collecting the eggs. Oh, that's right, um, you get to yeah, do that. The, on the second night we saw a leather back and I was lucky enough to be able to collect the eggs. Um, my favourite's going to be when we had the leather back the other night when I was on patrol and I got to measure her and get up close and um, see all her features and everything which was really, really exciting. It was a very like simple exercise, but I think it's just the fact of that if I hadn't done that or if this project hadn't done that, the turtles would have never survived. And that memory or that uh, feeling is amazing. And it was so good to get up so close to something that's so critically endangered and like, I don't know, it's, we probably won't ever see something like that ever again. So it was incredible. What was special for me at that moment was that Currently doing the tw uh, sorry the 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. hatchery shift. So last night there's another research assistant here doing um, a study on microbes in hatcheries, and we got to go over and measure and help her out and release a clutch, which is pretty exciting. First question is, what has been the highlight so far on this specific uh, trip? Definitely releasing the baby too. I was gonna say, is that why? Because they're really cute. Yeah, they're um, really cute, and there were so many. It it's was like, just the circle of life. They're the so tiny, life. and you know they get so big, and like it's amazing how they just know where to go. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it was a sunset, so it was like it was curious. Mm -hmm. yeah. And did you guys get turtle cuddles? Turtle cuddles. Yeah. You pick them up. Yeah. Turtle selfies, turtle cuddles, turtle group selfies. <laughs> So do you want to just tell us what happened this morning? Okay, so this morning uh, Brit was fortunate enough to see the Arabata, which is when hundreds, if not thousands of turtles come onto the beach to lay their eggs What has been the biggest surprise factor about Costa Rica that you've had so far? It has to be the toilet system and the, <laughs> the toilet paper. Getting used to that is pretty strange. Do you want to explain how it works well, here? Instead of putting the toilet paper in the toilet, you have to put it in a bin next to the toilet. Yeah. Something we don't do in Australia. <laughs> I would definitely say I had like a bit of a dangerous thing story where I kind of expected it not to be as um, westernized as it is. I didn't expect there to be such big cities um, and to be so busy and stuff and um, to like, I mean the fashion sense is a bit different and stuff, but like for it to be so westernized everywhere, I guess I didn't quite expect that. Um, but I love it, definitely. And how friendly people are. Everyone's super friendly, even though you can't speak Spanish. 
they get shot. <laughs> they try.